Happy New Year everyone. Welcome to the first Quantrix figure review of 2018. We got a special one. Cheers. The Calvary is here with Figma's Tracer from Blizzard's hit game Overwatch. Let's get into it. As always guys, we, you know, we got to take a look at the package in here. You got Max Factory, Good Smile Company. Figma 352 Overwatch Tracer and you got the sculptors at the bottom here there you go and on the side you got a picture of Tracer um, the same stuff from the front back a whole bunch of action poses Japanese writing at the bottom in the warning and same thing on the on the side here and at the bottom another picture of the figure All right, let's get Tracer open. All right, guys, here is, in my opinion, Overwatch's uh, mascot, Tracer, outside of the package. This is everything that she comes with. Um, before I even get started on this review, I like to say that I am not an avid uh, Overwatch player or anything like that. Uh, but I do love Blizzard's designs of, of the characters, and this will really make me get this figure. If, and uh, Tracer may be my favorite out of all the designs. I think her her just design is perfect. It looks awesome, um, and they did a awesome job. Uh, Figma, Good Smile Company did an awesome job, uh, basically doing making this figure look exactly like it does in the video game it is amazing we're gonna look at the accessories in a minute but first we're gonna take a look at at tracer herself all right guys let's take a look at uh the sculpt and my gosh like i said they nailed this to a t as if it's one thing that figma does great and i, I say it in every figure that i review of them they're not like i said they're not that great when it comes to uh, actual people, real life people, but when it comes to animated characters, especially anime looking characters, uh, and even video game characters, they do a bang out job in just replicating the look to a T. And they've got every single detail um, that is on Tracer, on her design. It's, it's, it's perfect. Take a look at this. So, let me back up a little bit. head sculpt is perfect you got a nice brown uh, on the skin the translucent on the goggles you can see inside of there see your eyes uh, the lips look nice you go down the all the sculpt work on the the jacket on the pilot jacket is amazeballs it looks great uh, you got her decals on her jacket right there and then on the other side <coughs> got the um, UK flag you got her little, uh, I don't even know what to call this right here, her little, uh, I don't even know, I don't even know what to even call that. I'm pretty sure uh, <laughs> Overwatch fans would know exactly what this, this little piece right here on her, uh, on her uh, top and is called. I'm pretty sure this has something to do with her, uh, her, her transporting abilities. Same thing on the back. The Figma stand also goes inside of there. And uh, you got the little straps to go around it. It's white and orange, clean art paintwork. Go down. Look at that. Look at that butt. Look at that butt right there. Anyway, uh, you got the straps, which are all these straps are sculpted. So that's nice. And then right here, even on our side here, on her, her, her sweats, or her sweats, her, uh, what is it called? Um, her tights, her orange tights, it has Tracer right here. On the side here, these little squares, all these squares are sculpted in as well. And I like how it fades from a light orange to a dark orange. That's pretty neat. There's the back. Look at her kicks right there. They look pretty cool. Detailed. Even sculpt work at the bottom. So overall, the sculpt of Tracer is pretty nice. I forgot to look at the gauntlets here. These are like one of the coolest things. I mean, I don't even think I talked about this. So, the gauntlets are pretty cool. 
I'm not sure if it's even picking up on camera, but it says T01 on the gauntlets there. It's on both sides. Overall though, the sculpt and the paintwork is awesome. I don't really see any any kind of QC issues when it comes to this figure so far. Alright, now we're gonna take a look take a look at the articulation on Tracer here. So the neck is on a ball peg. It can only go up about that much because the collar is kind of stopping it from happening and go down that much. It can go 360. Uh, no articulation at the bottom of the neck. Uh, you go down to the shoulders. You got a nice motion right here. You go up about that much, which is really, really good. You can go 360 with it. All the shoulder articulation you need right there. Go down to the arm, single hinge, but it goes way better than 90. Go to the wrist, it's on a, uh, the Figma joint. So it spins and there's a hinge as well. It goes back and forth, it's really good. Come down to the uh, the torso here, it's on a, the, the torso diaphragm. So not really, not really an app crunch, but you got the diaphragm joint, which goes around about that much. It goes back that much, down that much. Not a lot there, but it's okay. Uh, no waist swivel, right there. And you go down here is on the, uh, her her uh, waist or her legs are on a diet on a uh, double dumb a dumbbell joint. You can go about this far out, so the splits about that much. She can kick up about that much. And it goes back not very much just because of the straps and that booty. That booty kind of stopping it from uh, going back any further, but I'm not complaining. All right, uh, no cuts here in the thigh, no, no cuts. So basically you're gonna have to use the uh, a little bit of swivel here that's at the top of the, the thigh so but no thigh cut uh, the there is a single jointed in the knee it goes better than 90 which is good so we can go around ankle rocker and toe articulation yeah Next, we're going to go over accessories, uh, and she comes with a pretty good amount of things. Obviously, you get your standard Figma stand, as well as trusty Figma bag. Um, she comes with a slew of hands uh, and three faces, but let's take a look at the stock face, which is the her normal face here. <clears throat> the standard head looks really, really good, though. Um, I love the translucent, clear, uh, orange glass uh, plastic for the goggles glass <laughs> plastic for the goggles which you can see the eyes uh, through those it looks really really good the lips look great nose look great looks just like tracer there's the side view another side view alright take a look at the other two faces here is the smiling face which looks good as well Last but not least is her premier most iconic face, which is I, I think as I've seen a lot of pictures of, is her in her iconic confident face right here, which she's looking off to the side, the smirk. Looks great. Here's a look at her one of her pulse pistols. Nice white. But I think the plastic is actually a dark gray and they painted it the rest white and the other details are you know blue and uh, gunmetal uh, gray. It looks good. Get these little three little uh, lines right there. And on this side it says in the really small, I don't, I'm not even sure if it's going to pick up or not. Let me see. It says uh, 39. So the number 39 is there. I'm not sure what that means. Please tell me in the comments if you know. But the blaster looks, or the pistol. Blaster, pistol, blaster, blaster, pistol. 
pulse pistol. Looks really, really good. Here's a look at her pulse bomb. Looks really, really good. It's got a G in the middle and two orange uh, triangles. Nice silver paint. Good detail. Looks good. Tracer comes with 10 different types of hands. She comes with the fists, which you already saw. She comes with that out of the package. And then on this nice Figma uh, hand holder that they give you, which I love, uh, comes with um, some open palm hands, the trigger hands, uh, and then two different types of action hands. Uh, I think this one is for a taunt, and then this is one for the... Uh, the pulse bomb, the whole pulse bomb, and then you have two other gripping hands to grip different things that you have lying around, you know. So those are nice. There's how that the inside of it look the palm is like a nice uh you know I don't even know like a light light brown or something. Looks good though. Just so you guys know, a tracer holds her accessories really really well. They are, I don't think either one of those things are going anywhere. So, that's really good. Alright, it is size comparison time. Let's see how Tracer stacks up size-wise with different figures from different lines. SH Figure Arts. Hasbro Marvel Legends, WWE Mattel, and of course her own line, Figma. Overall guys, Figma Tracer uh, is an awesome figure. Once again, Good Smile Company brought it again. The sculpt is great. Um, the articulation is really really good and uh, it just looks like really like Tracer just um, pop right out of the video game um, this may be actually one of my favorite Figmas to date um, now I do have uh, Pokemon Trainer as well as Lucina and those are great figures they look great but articulation wise they are not the best but uh, Tracer is on a it's completely different a completely different story she is a treat she is fun. She is really, really fun to pose around, and I can't really stop uh, posing her, man. She's really, really fun. You can get her in so many different dynamic poses, which is really, really, really awesome. And I can't wait to show you a lot of those at the end of the video during the slideshow. But um, <clears throat> to get the pro let's get the pros and cons out the way. Pros, like I said, sculpt is a great sculpt, great articulation. Um, and cons, I don't know, I really don't, really don't have that many cons. Uh, they gave us a lot of hands, so I can't complain about that. The faces are really, really good. I really can't think of any cons that I can give this, this figure, really. Um, maybe a little bit more articulation in the, uh, the waist. Uh, but other than that, this is a just about flawless figure and has to be, I'm saying it right now, this is my favorite Figma to date and I highly recommend it it gets that quantrix 02 certified thumbs up of approval boom baby uh probably one of my favorite figures of the year i have to say i have to say this is this this figma uh is great tracer is is awesome and i definitely do recommend you go out and pick her up um, and she, the best thing about this is usually I say that I picked it up from Amiyami or, you know, overseas and you have to wait, but she's right now, she is available right now as I speak at Big Bed Toy Store. So go pick her up and you will not regret it. Guys, if you liked this video, please smash that like button. And if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. A lot of great vibes on this channel. We've got figure reviews, we've got toy hunts, we've got just a whole bunch of randomness, a lot of good stuff. Um, and please also uh, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I put up a new video. 2018 is just getting started and I'm hoping to keep this channel rolling for you guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. 
See you guys in the next one. Stiggle, everybody. Peace. Check out the balance. Superb.